All right, uh, we have uh, JDS leader uh, from Karnataka, Tanvir Ahmed. Uh, if I can get your response to the kind of remarks that are coming in from the Karnataka state BJP chief, uh, where he says that uh, elections in the state of Karnataka is being fought on the lines of Tipu Sultan versus V D Savarkar. Mr. Nalin Kumar Katil, who is a failed leader, and more than being a failed leader, he is a failed president of BJP. Absolutely, BJP itself is totally uh, rattled that why have they made uh, an, uh, uh, a man without uh, contributing anything for the party, leave alone for Karnataka. This man uh, is really known for uh, finding a spot uh, in uh, politics. Last time, your channel, your great channel has really shamed uh, this idiot by by telling that uh, the, the, he wanted to uh, talk about lao jihad more than development uh, or bringing employment or solving uh, uh, women mortality rates uh, or child mortality rates. That, that's it really shows the thinking of this man tipu is gone savarkar is gone the, the likers of tipu are there the likers of savarkar the haters of tipu the haters of savarkar both do exist but what is the controversy he wants to create here? Mm. It really shows this man is nothing but hollow, stupid, and absolutely has nothing to really uh, contribute for the betterment of uh, the people of mm. Karnataka. Who mm. definitely make up the controversy. A mm. great channel like yours, if at all you give an importance to a person like this, he would become a hero. He'll become a national hero. I think these people definitely needs to be shamed and put at their place. They don't really below that. They, 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 they should be given any public space. The mm. devil, today, Karnataka but, election. But Mr. Ahmed, uh, let's not forget that uh, Tipu versus Savarkar has been a raging debate in the state of Karnataka. We've seen the kind of uh, you know protests that have happened. Uh, we've seen the drama unfold in the Karnataka Legislative Assembly also for that matter. So yes, it has been a going, uh, ongoing uh, debate in the state of Karnataka. No one, no one can deny that. Ma'am, let me ask you. Let's see, let's imagine that we establish that Tipu is great or Savarkar is great. What next? Are we going to follow the ideology of Savarkar? Which is uh, to, uh, to bring uh, freedom struggle movement? Are we going to follow the ideology of Tipu Sultan, which was to bring secularism? I mean, the ideology of teachings of those people are important, rather than creating or raking a controversy. A failed leader, and failed leader, you know, he's the one who said that if Narendra Modi becomes the Prime Minister of India, the dollar rate is going to be 40 rupees, who doesn't even understand economics. Doesn't even understand what is physical deficit. Doesn't even understand anything about uh, what is happening in the state well, of Karnataka. Well, I think we are we are drifting off the topic here. But appreciate your time and speaking to Republic and and let's just leave it to the people of uh, Karnataka to decide for themselves how much of this is going to be an issue uh, when it comes to the state polls uh, that will happen later this year in the state of Karnataka. So Karnataka BJP uh, leader there is talking a controversy yet again saying that uh, elections in the state of Karnataka would uh, happen on the lines of uh, Tipu Sultan versus VD Savarkar. Uh, remember Tipu Sultan versus VD Savarkar has been a raging debate uh, in the state of Karnataka. We have seen the kind of protests uh, that have happened in the state, uh, the kind of uh, drama unfold uh, inside the Karnataka Legislative Assembly as well.